The juice that results from the cane crush is used to produce sugar and ethanol. Most of Brazil's 430 active mills can produce both. How much of each product is made varies according to market conditions and technical aspects of the mill's design. Juice from the first and second crushes is richer in sucrose and is usually dedicated to sugar production. The first step is to purify the juice, which then undergoes an evaporation and boiling procedure. At this stage, the sucrose is already crystallized. The crystals are isolated in a centrifuge from molasses, which can later be fermented to produce ethanol. The crystals are moved to dryers and then filtered and stored. In all, the process from the arrival of the cane at the mill to the storage of sugar takes 15 hours. Each ton of cane produces about 120 kilos of sugar. The finished product is packaged for shipment to stores and supermarkets. Sugar types for industrial applications are placed in special containers for large-scale shipping. The storage process for all types of sugar produced in Brazilian mills is supervised by the National Health Inspection Agency, known as Anvisa. Brazil is the world's largest sugar producer and exporter. It answers for about 20% of world production and 40% of global sales.